Hi guys, Andre from Convey of Randomness here and today I'll be showing you just how easy it is to attach and use an external microphone like these to your PlayStation 4. If you're an avid gamer and have either a gaming headset like these Razer Krakens that may not have the best built-in microphone attached or you have a pair of headphones that don't have a microphone like these Sony headphones but provide you with good gaming sound quality that means you don't want to get rid of them for a pair of new and possibly expensive headphones to up your microphone audio levels. If you have a USB microphone, which you can get relatively cheaper these days without compromising audio quality, then you can plug one of these directly into the PlayStation 4. And if necessary, with a few alterations of the settings, provide you with an alternative speaking audio option, which could level up your gameplay and even your streaming setup. I've got a few USB microphones to try just to show you how easy it is to set them up on your PlayStation 4. First, I've got the ever popular Blue Yeti microphone up there, the Fifine T669 USB microphone, and the microphone I reviewed in last week's video, the Peridix USB podcast microphone. I'll leave links to my reviews on these microphones in the description below. As all these microphones are plug and play and require no software to install any drivers, that's all you need to do to get started. If we start off with the Blue Yeti microphone, once it's plugged in, scroll to settings on the PlayStation, then to devices, and then to audio devices. As you can see, the PlayStation has recognised the microphone, displays the input and output device as the Yeti stereo microphone. If you plug in any other USB microphone, the PlayStation should recognise this and display the microphone's device type. Same here when plugging in the Fifine and Peridix microphones. Both have different names. In these three microphones, we have three slightly but noticeably different in button and external configurations on each of them. On the Blue Yeti, you've got the volume control, gain control, mute button, pattern mode select, and the headphone jack. The Fifine just has the volume or gain dial, and the Peridix has no external controls. When plugging in the Blue Yeti, automatically the headphone jack at the bottom of the Blue Yeti is selected as the output device. You can select your preferred option of whether you want to connect your headset to the Blue Yeti or just the PlayStation controller. Just note, only when you plug in the headset into the Blue Yeti directly will you be able to monitor your own audio levels directly all the time outside the microphone adjustment level, which we'll have a look at in a moment. If you click onto adjust microphone level, this is where you can change the volume of your own voice going into the PlayStation that will be transmitted to your party. Quite a simple setting to explain, speaking to the microphone to determine whether your input volume is too low, good or too high, and then make the relevant adjustments. At this point, no matter which USB microphone you have, you'll be able to hear yourself speaking through the headset. Once you're out of this setting, if you are not using a headset plugged into the microphone, you won't be able to hear yourself. With the Peridix microphone and its lack of external dials, going through the PlayStation's audio settings is the only way to change the microphone gain. With the Blue Yeti, Fifine T69 and other microphones with an external gain dial, as well as using the system audio syncs to make the microphone level adjustments, you're also able to adjust on the microphone itself to change the gain, which is more useful if you're in-game and want to make those audio changes on the go without having to interrupt your game, and then come back into the audio settings like you would have to do on a non-dial microphone. Additionally, with the Blue Yeti, you can use the manual volume control on the microphone itself to increase or decrease your own headset volume. Useful if your headphones don't provide enough output volume for your liking. You can use the mute button if there are those brief moments where you don't want your party to hear you. And you're also able to take advantage, if it suits your environment, of the different pattern modes available. But if you're using this for predominantly gaming, then you're only going to be using it in cardioid pattern mode. So there you go. Pretty much as easy as plug and play to use your USB microphone on your PlayStation 4. Use this method with most USB microphones, from ones that offer straightforward input audio like the Peridix, to microphones that offer a bit more user-defined audio control like the Blue Yeti, whether you're private gaming or even if you're streaming your gameplay. I'll link all the review videos on all of the tech in this video and leave them in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. That's all for me today. I'll see you on the next one. And as always, happy gaming. Bye. Why don't you watch one of the two videos below, or both if you want. Click before the time runs out. Three, two, one, go.